Hey, this is Dexter from Additional Math. In this lesson, we will learn to solve word problems involving sets. In solving, we will learn to expand and simplify with the multiplication and addition rules of sets. And by the end of this video, we will learn to rationalize denominator with conjugate sets. In part 1, given the sign of an equilateral triangle to be 2 times root 3 plus 1, find the exact value of area of the triangle in sets form. In part 2, the same equilateral triangle now forms the base of a triangular prism. With the volume given to be 9 times root 3 plus 1, find the height of the prism in search form. Pause to give it a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. The area of a triangle can be found by having half times the product of two sides of a triangle A and B and the angle C between the two sides. We will begin by applying this area for triangle formula such that AB will be the square of 2 times of root 3 plus 1 as an equilateral triangle have equal sides. Then, we multiply it by sine 60 degree the interior angle of an equilateral triangle. Next, squaring 2 will give the value of 4. Then, we use the special algebraic identity of the square of x plus y equal to x square plus 2xy plus y square in the expansion of our sets. To square the root of 3, we apply the multiplication rule of sets. The square root of a multiplied by the square root of a is equivalent to the square of root a to give the answer of a as the squaring of a square root will remove the roots. Thus, squaring the root 3 will give a value of 3. For the second term 2xy in the expansion, we apply another multiplication rule where p times the square root of a is equal to p root a. Thus, for the 2xy in our expansion, we will have 2 times root 3 times 1 to give us 2 root 3. Then, to complete the expansion of sets, we square 1. Based on the trigonometric ratios of special angles 30 degree, 45 degree, 60 degree, sine 60 degree is equivalent to half times root 3. Next, we cancel 4 with the two halves. Then, simplifying the terms inside the parentheses, Will give us 4 plus 2 times of root 3 with the square root of 3 outside. Using the same multiplication rule, we multiply root 3 to 2 root 3 to give a value of 6 and we complete the answer by adding 4 root 3. Thus, the area of the equilateral triangle is found to be 6 plus 4 root 3. With the base area found earlier, we can find the volume of the prism by taking the base area and multiply it by the heights. To find the height of the prism, we take the volume 9 times of root 3 plus 1 and divide it by the base area 6 plus 4 root 3. To simplify fractions with sets in the denominator, we need to rationalize the denominator with conjugate sets. For instance, for 1 over p plus q times of root a, we will rationalize the denominator by multiplying the conjugate sets p minus over q times of root a to both the numerator and the denominator. The conjugate set is simply the same terms but with the operator change from positive to negative. With that, we will multiply our conjugate set to both the numerator and the denominator where the conjugate set is determined by replicating the same terms in the denominator and changing the operator from positive to negative. This is such that we can make use of the special algebraic identity of the product of x plus y and x minus y to be equivalent to x square minus y square in order to remove all the sets in the denominator. Squaring 6 in the denominator will give us 36 and squaring 4 root 3 will give the result of 16 times 3. Next, we expand the numerator while keeping the constant 9 outside the parenthesis. The first term in this expansion will be 6 times of root 3. Then, multiplying root 3 to negative 4 root 3 will give the result of negative 4 times 3. Followed by positive 6 and finishing the expansion with negative 4 root 3. After which, we take 9 and divide it by the denominator to give us negative 3 over 4. Combining the like terms in the parentheses will give the result of negative 6 plus 2 times of root 3. Doing the final rainbow expansion, we multiply negative 3 quarter to negative 6 to give us 9 half and the product of negative 3 quarter and 2 times root 3 will give the answer of negative 3 over 2 times root 3. 
Thus, the height of the prism is found to be 9 over 2 minus over 3 over 2 times root 3. And that's the answer to this question.